any wonder that so many Christian women are torn, conflicted, and maybe even a little bit blue? Why might this be? Well, perhaps it is because the world has done a much better job than the church in speaking to our women. Uh, what you have here, believe it or not, is not Pac-Man with some sort of skin issue. This is the globe. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is planet Earth speaking and sending out messages to our wives and daughters. Over here, I did pretty good with this, this is we, this is the church, this is the cross, and these are the messages that we should be speaking, but I fear we are not. And because of that, many women feel the tear, the, just the strain of, well, I get this sense that I should be staying home with the kids and, and being a helpmate to my husband, but I hear the siren song of the world. Why? Because the earth is very good at delivering its message repeatedly through something we call the world system. Now, please remember, things in the world are not necessarily bad. God made things very good, but because of that little old thing called the fall, and because the devil is the prince and the power of the air, he is the present ruler of the earth. Remember, he's God's devil, but just the same. He's prowling about seeking people to devour, and he uses the world system, lies, lies, and nothing but lies, to get people to not believe in Jesus Christ, and if they do, to at least be miserable on their way to heaven. What are the messages that are being spoken to our wives and to our daughters? Loudly, fame and fortune. Hey, look at our role models. Women are reminded them every time they go through the grocery checkout line. Who do you see? You see famous people. You see rich people. You see beautiful people. Who are the standard then for women? What they see on the cover of a magazine. Airbrushed people. And that becomes the message of the world system. Hey, that's the best thing. Hey, what are you doing? You're living in a home in the suburbs. Nobody knows who you are. You only have 14 Facebook friends. You only have six Twitter followers. You should be famous. Is it any wonder they feel this tear between church and world? What are the other messages? Better have a big house. How many square feet do you have? You better, you better be in business. You better be working. You better break that glass ceiling after all. You can, where is it? You can have it all. I did this alphabetically. You need freedom. You need to be able to come and go as you see fit. You don't need to be shackled down to those children. How can you feel so repressed by men? Which is another message from the world system. The, 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 the feminist movement, the radical feminist movement, including sexual liberty. One man. Are you kidding me? Haven't you seen the TV shows? Don't you know what's going on in the suburbs with the wife swapping? A TV show, by the way. Hey, just a little bit of, of good news. Remember the TV show, believe it or not, where a couple would do what only a husband and wife should do behind closed doors without Charlie Rich. They would do it in a box, and then they would come out and talk to therapists, including a woman who is a pastor and spiritual advisor, to talk about their experience. Got canceled after five shows. I'm actually surprised. Sexual liberty, you gotta have it. You better have a cool car. You better have a great wardrobe. You better be successful. And on and on and on go the screams of the world. And our Christian women, they don't hear the message of the church, I fear, because I don't think we're even speaking it. We need to understand the world system, that is a good North America. Florida got a little bigger, and it looks like we lost California, which frankly wouldn't break my heart. But the point is, the world has so many tools at its disposal. It has media, the glossy magazines at the grocery store, the internet, movies, books, Fifty Shades of Black, all of these things screaming, this, this is what it means to be a complete woman. And they hear it over and over again. Might I ask you, are they hearing 
the message from the church. Shouldn't we, knowing that that is going on, be making an effort to try to counter the message of the world system so that our women don't feel like, oh, I'm so miserable here. I see all these people and they're doing successful things and they got a new car and they're going on a trip to Jamaica and I'm just sitting here dealing with these kids and they're making another mess and I've got to clean it up and then it's a mess again and I clean it up and there's a mess again. Notice, nowhere in here does it say anything about faithfulness, loving, kindness, nurturing, sacrifice. Uh -uh. None of that is spoken to them. And I fear none of this is spoken to them either. Church, maybe it's time to be aware of the siren song of the world that is echoing in the ears of our wives and daughters and start talking about things like, hey, 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 wife and daughter, you're forgiven and loved. You're valued by God. You're predestined to eternity. You're going to heaven. Now, those are some of the the basic theological facts that everybody should hear, but hey, you're an image bearer of God who gets to bear image bearers. I think that's how you spell image bearer, bearer. That's what you, you, madam, do something we men don't get to do. You, inside of you, have God's handiwork being knit together, an eternal image bearer of Almighty God, a little soul that is going to last for forever. You carry that. You are the primary influencer of children. I know dad is supposed to be the leader in the home. I got that. But let's be honest, you spend more time with the kids. You influence little human beings that are going to grow up. That is who you are. That is what you're doing. You are the cultural glue. This is, this is humongous. I firmly believe what happens right here and what happens with you every day with those little tykes, that, that little, the reason that families stay together and don't just go and just, is because of you, Mom. That's what you do. You're the home manager. You're the gospel preserver for generations to come. You're a picture of the gospel. By laying down your life for another, you picture the gospel in a tangible way. You are a helpmate to somebody, and you are a nurturer. You are the one who teaches boys to not just always be then fighting and mean and brusque and rough and tough and crude. You do that and you teach other girls how to grow up to be godly women. That is what you do. That is what you offer to our planet. Might I suggest, madam, if you're not hearing that message often enough, you're going to have to go into the Bible and you're going to have to hear it from God speaking through his word to you. And might I suggest, if our women are not hearing this message enough, then it is time for the church to start competing with the world system so that our women don't feel miserable for doing what is biblical.